we have Shalu and Pankaj with us. They will share uh, about different metrics in Agile and Scrum and uh, how to choose the appropriate one for your work. Shalu is working with Interglobe Technologies. She has uh, almost 16 years of industry experience and uh, Pankaj has more than 12 years of experience in Microsoft Technologies. Both of them are uh, regular contributors to Scrum Alliance community by means of writing several blogs and articles. Shalu and Pankaj, please. So let's have the expectation setting in the beginning of the session. Let's keep it as an interactive session right? and not a training session. And uh, we can start now. So how many of you are handling uh, the Agile projects? Right, many of you. And uh, what are the matrices you are capturing there? Are you capturing any matrices? Burn down, velocity, defects, great. What is Release planning with the metrics. What is the outcome of release planning? Which you take as a metric? Future forecasting. Future forecasting? What else? RTF. Huh? RTF. That is? Running testing features. Alright. So, committed versus delivered in terms of stories. Uh, in terms of automation achieved, mm -hmm. also how many times a story goes back to the backlog mm -hmm. uh, in the sprint planning because it was high, high estimated. Okay. So, I didn't get this point. How many times story goes back to So, uh, what we do is we, uh, in projects, <laughs> either we are estimating in terms of poker or maybe hours. Okay. We have a threshold if the team estimates it more than that, mm -hmm. we don't take it in that spot. Right. It goes back to the product owner to divide it further. So that's a KPI for product owner to ensure that he has divided the stories up to a minimum level. So that okay. it fits into the spot. Uh, in that case, I think backlogs would be huge, very huge. No, irrespective to that fact, if the division, the way my product owner is dividing stories, it's he is no, not even giving that. Number of times a story goes back to that. Yes, so let's say he, he once it was rejected, he goes no. back and he says, I have divided it further. Achha. Again, that story comes back Achha. and then he goes. Okay. So then it will be multiple times, otherwise, total number of stories gets rejected in the sprint planning meeting. Okay. So, <coughs> so we also do committed uh, stories uh, via delivered stories. These are at the lower level sprint wise. Mm -hmm. Plus, we have uh, how much uh, sprint wise deliveries which we team has been uh, committed via delivered. And plus, we also have uh, some type of metrics where we get what, uh, how many, how uh, how many bugs and all. What is the quality of the product? Or how many hours the team has actually put up in delivering that thing? And what are the quality of product? Is it decreasing or uh, increasing uh, sprint wise? And for Scrum Master, we follow one thing: that how many retrospective items got closed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many retrospective items got closed? Mm -hmm. so, Tracking of closure of the fiction yeah. items to identify them. Right. So, do you people think that uh, there is a standard list of matrices from which we pick for our own use, or there is some other mechanism also to identify the right matrix for your own project? Most of the people use the right first Standard is. There is a standard. People pick out of the standard. Mm. For me, it's like uh, generally uh, I'm handling multiple teams, so it's something new I try to do with one of the team, and then I try to uh, learn something more and then try to propagate it to the other team. If it's really essential, like phase wise, also project depends. Like some would be on exploration phase, some would be at a release phase. Mm -hmm. so, that's so we all agree that the project matrices or the portfolio matrices, program matrices, they are aligned to the vision of the project. Right? So uh, today we will be talking about the best of the both worlds of CMMI and Agile while we are explaining the matrices to you, right? We are here to learn from you as well, like we did just, just one new point here. So I partially agree, yes, it should align to the project. But to me, uh, the teams I work for, I am transforming the teams, not the project. 
So I I primarily focus on the matrices which make those roles become more agile versus the project. So I also that's why some of these metrics we follow. So I did not conclude there. Actually, Fair enough. I'm sorry. Leaving, you know, no worries. Uh, thanks for keeping it interactive actually, uh, because there's more to it. So that is why I just wanted to know if all of us are on the same page for now. So we'll be talking about. How do we define the matrices? We will talk about what is the difference between a measure and a matrix. Any idea what is the difference? The difference between the measures and the matrices? Okay, so we will talk about them and then we will be discussing about uh, the, how the matrices should be defined. What are the standards, what are the guidelines which help us in defining the right kind of matrix for our own project? And what are the benefits we reap out of them? So the session is all about that. Okay. I have an input here, like I agree to his, to, to, totally to his point. Because these metrics are only useful for the senior management, not act. I don't feel like it's going to help anyway to the team. Yeah, right. <coughs> okay. So by the end of it, we will be discussing if I accomplish any yeah, there are we many can certain things in parking lot so that we can discuss them and can conclude. <coughs> like where did we start and where are we concluding? We can use that as well. Okay. How do you measure this? How do you measure this? Kilograms and milligrams and liters. Smita, Pankaj has a question for you. Pankaj. So, would request you please to concentrate. Right? <laughs> so, so the interaction is there on a chain. That's not a certain chain, but right? <laughs> Alright. So, he asked something. He asked, how do you measure them? And now, how do you measure application? Size, the application size. So an application has to be sized. So, what numbers will you give to it? See, it depends on the audience. What audience is looking You at have to, Chitranjan has to do it. See, if I am the CEO of this application, I will simply ask what is the traction my application is getting? Give me the number of users that have downloaded it. Very good. Very good. No, you are talking about the size or the user or the user measure size. 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 How, size in terms how of big is that is what we are talking about. In terms of lines of code, in terms of very yes. yeah. Function points. Function points. Function points story and points. points. Story great. Great. And so how do you measure what? defects then? Defects. Number of number defects. Of defects. Or defects. Complexity or severity. 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 Priority. So as you saw that we have got the different units of measure. We have weight, we have liter, we have the LOCs, we have FPs, we have story points, and then we have number of defects. What are they? Are they matrices? Yes, units of measure. They are units. units of measure. And we call them measures. Okay. And what are matrices? A combination of these measures are called the matrices. So those are the base measure and a combination is called matrices. Right? So there are two process areas in CMMI which dedicatedly talk about these measures and matrices. So at uh, how many levels of CMMI are there? Five. 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 So five plus. Okay. And which is that plus one? Uh, in currently like okay. CMM has generally five standards. But CMM or CMMI? CMMI? CMMI has five levels, but generally now uh, most of the companies also says that their CMM from uh, 
what is that word that they are improving on people management, they are improving on uh, some other type of management and you know, also. Yeah, 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 Growing or something, some some word is there. Optimizing the last one, level mm -hmm. five and top level. Okay, so there are five levels. Generally, five. okay. So in stage representation of CMMI, there are five levels, and at level two, we have a process area called measurement and analysis. about the best practices and the guidelines which are set by CMMI and how we can use them in the agile world. Right. So MNA that is measurement analysis talks about having the right matrices in place okay, and for the project and then QPM talks about having the matrices at organization level having their baselines and to use them for the use of the organization right? for the market as well. So here comes the measures and measurements. This is all theory. Your weight, your defects, your line of course, story points, FPs, they are all called measures. Okay? And the theory says that it's quantitative indication of the extent, capacity, amount of some of the attribute of a process. Right? And what is measurement? Measurement is the act of measuring. So how we have organized the flow is that we would like to take you through some of the key terms so that when we are using them in the dual course, you know what we are talking about. Right? Then comes metrics. So what is metrics? Metrics is, as we discussed, it is a combination of measures. Say for example, I talk about speed. So I would say it is distance travelled upon time taken. So distance is what? Matrix. Measure. Matrix or measure? Measure. 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 Distance. How many of you say it's a matrix? No, it's a measure, no? Alright. And time. Measure. 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 Okay. So speed is a combination of these two base measure and hence is a matrix. We have to be very mindful when we are talking about measures and matrices because this only word tells the other person what are you trying to say and what are you trying to interpret out of it. So is the difference clear now? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. See, as I told you, but I just cannot move if you people don't speak. Yes, no? Okay, yes. Please note. Hmm? Will be noted. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. yes. Thank you. What are indicators? <coughs> indicators are all your reporting dashboards, reporting reports, measurement, which are based upon the measurements. So if you see, we have got these red light signs, these meters. So whatever you are measuring in your project throughout the life cycle, you are reporting it to somebody or the other, either to the customer or to your senior management. Does that happen? Yes. Right. So, those are called the indicators. And when you say that the project is going good, the project is going bad, there is some rationale behind and that is driven from the numbers. It's easy to say this word, to judge a person by saying he is good, she is bad, kind of it. Right. But for a project or for a portfolio to say good or bad, we must have some numbers to demonstrate. And where do those numbers come from? We'll talk about them. So this is the slide which has the complete flow of the matrices. Right? So we will be coming back and forth to this slide to relate to the relative uh, to the subsequent slides which we will be talking about. So first is define. So we will discuss how to define the matrix for a project. right? How to measure them, how to manage them throughout the life cycle of the project and how to go towards improvement of the matrix. This is something for you. 
good. So how to prepare right matrices? Now we have Mr. Mike. Uh, he his job is to pick the employees of an XYZ company and drop them to the office. Let's begin. Uh, he has to pick the first person from Uttam Nagar at 7 o'clock in the morning and reach Gurgaon at 8 o'clock. <laughs> in the meantime... This is a real example of our <laughs> office bus actually. actually. Everyone. And what <laughs> happens there? And what happens there? He has to pick people from sector 3, Dwarka. He has to pick people from sector 1, Dwarka, then sector 21. And people has to come there to their pickup points. Now what happens most of the times, he reaches, he starts at 7, reaches office at 8. All the SLAs are met. But sometimes 10 people reach office, sometimes 15 people reach office. Most of the time the bus is vacant. So do you think it is the right matrix, Chitranjan? You customized it as per the need of your project. You said, being the CEO, I want to see this matrix. Everybody, I want to see everybody in office. Why you you want to, yes, yes, yep. right. So are you noticing how the right matrix is important for you? How it is getting important for you now with the deal close? Right. Initially we had a standard list, we could have picked. So these people also picked. That the, that the matrix is SLA missed have to be captured in a month, for example, right? And what happened after that? All the SLAs have been adhered to, they are met. 7 o'clock chala, 8 o'clock pauncha, look at me 10. Business value mila? No. 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 We need to deep dive, deep dive into the metric that uh, how many stops are there at each stop, what time the bus should be there, was the bus there before or after, yeah. if it was after then employees would be there, if it was before then it's the problem of the bus, otherwise it's the problem of the employee to not to be there at that scheduled time of the bus. Yeah. And, and time it is or the person wala, jo, uh, Smita and uh, your? Gaurav. Gaurav. Oh, okay. So Smita and Gaurav, you people talked about that the matrices are mainly for the people who are working on the ground or they are there for the scrum master. So for everybody, for everybody, if we take the categorization of the people, the metrics would differ. Right? For a top management person, he would like to see something else. And for a person who is a driver, for Mike, he is doing absolutely fine and he has come to us for an appreciation mail for, as well. He says, see, I am coming every day. Does he know the bigger picture? Does he know about the business value? So I asked you one question in the beginning. That, do you think that the project metrics should be aligned with the vision of the project? So, answer <coughs> is that all the matrices, all the matrices which are being captured by a project, by the people, by the portfolios should be aligned somewhere or the other with the business objective of the organization. I have a matrix picture that I have not seen the organization in the bigger picture. Will that help? Who will understand that? The problem is that <laughs> Chitranjan as a CEO wants to see 100 features, yeah. all 100 features in yeah. that. But he has set a KPI for Mr. Mike that he should reach at 8 o'clock also. Exactly. So when he, when this KPI is being explained to this fellow, he should have been made aware that where is he contributing to the organization's time. Who's going to take? Who's uh, going so to so that is what needs to be done. So that has to be done mindfully. That is what After we have and he could come in, either he himself will do or his people will do. Or, you know, of course, he himself will not be. I, I have one question. But is he yes. also ensuring that his uh, people met who are coming by bus is not staying late? No. He is 
तो प्लीज डू डैट अगर मैट्रिक्स में ऐसा लिखा होगा कि अगर ऑफिस आना है तो 8 बजे तक आ जाओ नहीं तो ना आओ गुड देन वी आर लाइक वी आर वर्क फ्रॉम होम यस देन वी आर गोइंग के बाद मतलब तो भाई एक ही मैट्रिक्स डिफाइन करने से पहले पीपल जनरली थिंक अबाउट देयर ओन प्रोजेक्ट्स अबाउट देयर ओन पीपल एट मैक्स देयर ओन रिपोर्टिंग पीपल एंड कस्टमर्स दे हैव टू थिंक अबाउट द बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्टिव्स of the organization mm. right at times we see some of the matrices being captured in our project but sometimes we miss to see where are they coming from say for example i as a worker am working on uh, working in a manufacturing organization and am making the bolts and and given some specification ki itna hi banana hai right अनलेस आई नो कि वो बोल्ट एयरक्राफ्ट के उस पर्टिकुलर एरिया में लगेगा जिसको अगर स्पेसिफिकेशन मिस हुआ तो द एयरक्राफ्ट विल नॉट फ्लाई डू यू थिंक मैं बिगर पिक्चर से कितना कनेक्ट हो जाऊंगी और मुझे उस एक बोल्ट को बनाने का स्पेसिफिकेशन कितना क्रिटिकल होगा मेरे लिए मेंटली नहीं तो द बिगर पिक्चर हैज टू बी शोन टू द पीपल एंड सी एम Pankaj is a PMP as well. We all talk about them that it should be driven with the organization's goal, right? Actually, sometimes we use tools, and those tools generate some stupid metrics. Yeah, <laughs> and then we talk about so, very good. You know, that, Harmeet. So Harmeet will really, Harpreet, Harpreet will really talk about the misinterpretation of the metrics as well, yes. and how they can be misinterpreted. Yeah, so that's why uh, uh, just 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 one other the last tradition. Hmm. Uh, there are vanity matrices as well as external matrices. Yes. So that's the only. So difference. true. So true. So there is some matrix which can be very beneficial for Delhi, but which may not be beneficial for me. Hmm. Right. So there is no guideline that you have to pick only these matrices, and we can say that this is the set of matrices which are called agile matrices. as per your need when you know what is the requirement how to do it you will be able to do it for your organization for any of the organization and for your project as well so that is our agenda is here else we could have got that list we have that actually most of them we say या इसके उससे क्या मिल जाएगा इधर और आज या मुझे भी मतलब है कि यार पॉइंट ऐड कर दिया सी एग्जैक्टली दैट्स द पॉइंट ऑफ मैट्रिक्स कोर्सेस फॉर द कोर्सेस सी गिव देम व्हाट दे वांट टू सी Mm-hmm. what makes sense to them what gives value to them because if they are looking at your matrix they you should add value to that half an hour for them as well you really don't want to show a ceo ki yaar is software ki fifth release mein we had four bugs he said so so what i had my release on time last three versions are going on time what if i don't want to go into the intricacies exactly it such happened a uh, few years back i was working with one of the organizations And there, the contract was that we will be delivering this particular application in five thousand story points, right? I'm I'm changing function points to story points because people are more familiar with this. Okay, so it was actually FPs. So five thousand FPs were delivered. There was some technical stuff as well. Refactoring was there. Code optimization was there. There was a lot of stuff. Which was technical stuff right? and the function points which were delivered at the end of the contract were 5000 okay and even single module of that application could not go live with those numbers of fp matrix defined very well adhered to very well but did the owner get the business value he wanted no he could not so matrices are to be are to be defined taking into consideration many things many things i mean so in this particular example you gave so were there were not any business value metrics so you just said that yeah 5000 so point velocity, was the point it was productivity velocity was within the limits uh, this thing your productivity it was within the limits and function points number in all the business reviews in our customers happy everybody happy but when they had to deliver because they were working with the multiple vendors across okay. geography so when you wanted to uh, let it go live it did not what well, that's what i'm asking so was there not any no there is no this value metrics no, or customer no, delivery no, metrics in no, terms of features and all no 
Yeah. Whose fault is this? Not the customer's fault. No, but why should it be customer's fault? Mm. In his company, everybody should reach in time. Chitranjan is not the person who will go and define it on the ground. He has experts there in the ground who will, who will define the matrices, right? The management level people, and they define it in the right sense also, so that people take it in the right spirit and the customer working, they get the right business value. So they were at fault, yes. So at times, blindly, hastily, or whatever I can say, matrices is the place where people generally get compromised and don't spend enough time. 